I am also honored to present this year's student speaker. Edward C. Garcia is an officer in the United States Army, a congressional fellow in the House of Representatives, an entrepreneur, a small business owner, and a husband and a father of two. As a career soldier, Edward has over 19 years of leadership experience in the most arduous conditions. He served in six separate combat deployments to Iraq, Afghanistan, and multiple European and African engagements. Edward served as the Executive Communications Officer to the United States Central Command, Commanding General. He's commanded over 300 paratroopers in the prestigious 82nd Airborne Division. <laughs> was the Chief Information Technology Officer for all military networks in Iraq and served as the Chief Information Technology Officer for the Forward Deployed Special Forces Battalion in Germany and Afghanistan. Eddie holds a Master's Degree in Information Technology Project Management and a Bachelor's Degree in Business Administration from the University of Maryland University College, and he is about to hold a Master's Degree in Legislative Affairs from the Graduate School of Political Management at George Washington University. Eddie? Thank you all. Good evening, Dean Deering, Professor Marsh, Dr. Weiner, faculty, alumni, families, and friends, and my fellow graduates of the College of Professional Studies class of 2019. My name is Eddie Garcia, and I'm your 2019 student commencement speaker for this evening. Now, you're probably wondering to yourself, who exactly is this guy, and uh, why is he our commencement speaker? Perhaps he has the highest GPA among us. Or perhaps he's a, his family is a huge donor to the university. <laughs> or perhaps he's well connected here in the DMV. Uh, well, I can assure you that the answer to all those questions is a resounding no. I'm able to humbly stand before you this evening for the same reason I've achieved anything worthwhile in my own life. I simply showed up volunteered and put in the work. In 37 years of life and 19 years of military service, 12 years of marriage, six combat deployments, and two children. I've discovered a priceless gem that I will share with you all right now. 95% of any success in this life is showing up volunteering and putting in the work. Before you can go off and make your millions of dollars, before you get your C-suite, high-rise corner office down on K Street, or before you quote unquote change the world, or before you can stand in front of your commencement classmates and express how truly humbled and blessed by God's grace you are to have such a loving family that has supported you and encouraged you through thick and thin with a beautiful, caring, selfless wife and two absolutely awesome little girls who are sitting right over there. <laughs> who make your life complete and give it meaning and publicly express to them in a room full of complete strangers <laughs> that without them, your life would be forever empty. Sweetheart, I love you. Before you can do any of that, you have to show up, volunteer, and put in the work. Life, my friends, is a series of obstacles, and on the other side of those obstacles is a reward waiting to be claimed. After a 20-page paper is assigned with no less than 15-sided sources, there's an A-plus waiting to be claimed. You just have to be brave enough, responsible enough, and intent enough on grabbing it. In a world where the possibilities are endless, where technology and social interactions are redefining how progress is attained, with group chats, live video streams, social, political, and economic opportunities exist at our fingertips. 
But no matter how fast the tools, no matter how much the bandwidth, no matter how many characters per tweet, in order to harness the innovation of today to bring about a brighter future tomorrow, you will still need to show up, volunteer, and put in the work. So no matter where you started this journey, God put you here tonight. For anyone who said that you couldn't do it, or that you wouldn't make it, or that it wasn't worth it, when you walk across this stage tonight, you prove them all wrong. It wasn't easy, and it wasn't supposed to be. We've made mistakes, but we were always meant to, because they've made us stronger, they've made us tougher, and they've made us smarter. The secret to consistently and methodically showing up and putting in work is that it builds calluses on your psyche. So whether you started from a place of affluence or some place next to nowhere with next to nothing, the challenges we have faced on this journey have strengthened our resolve. Excuses, hurt feelings, and self-pity do not increase your opportunities. No, sir, we are called to glory in our sufferings because sufferings produce perseverance. It is through struggle that there is ultimate victory. It provides proof that what does not kill us only makes us stronger. And we did it. You did it. Single moms, army officers, mothers and fathers, in between cooking for the kids and after putting them to bed, after returning home from combat deployments, and moving your families across the nation to the national capital region after passing up family time or weekend trips back home to study for midterms or to make sure that 20-page paper flows just right. You found a way to show up and put in the work. Congratulations. You made it. We made it. As I wrap it up here, my friends, I want to leave you with something that all my years of service and all my education has made me 100% certain of, and that is no matter what you do in this life, no matter where you go in your life, if you have faith in God, you will not fail. If you set your sights on Him, if you focus on serving your brothers and sisters to your left and to your right, if you do His will and His works, He will bless you with an abundance beyond your wildest imagination. an abundance of meaning in this life, an abundance of purpose in your life, an abundance of faith, uh, an abundance of grace, an abundance of mercy. He will provide you strength you never knew you had. He will provide you wisdom you never knew you could attain to not only climb your own ladder of success, but the strength and the wisdom to lift others up around you. That, my friends, is how we truly change this great world, this great gift we call life for the better. For without him, we are nothing, but with him, nothing is impossible. So God bless you, and thank you so much, class of 2019. It has been a blessing and an honor to represent you here tonight.